How are we doing, Finally. Runt off some modeling. But first, I gotta apologize. <laughs> got my ass chewed out. Um, go on up street. My last video, not last, last, my first one coming back, my, my, um, unpopular demand video, my wife, she, she wasn't too happy, she said I sounded all depressed, I, I wasn't depressed, I'm not depressed, um, I was just kind of in my, what is it, my, my chin, my, my, um, uh, my, I don't know what to call it, I was just, zoned i was sitting here watching a movie on the computer and kind of messed around I was like yeah hey, i'll make a video and i was just too laid back i guess i sounded depressed wasn't sorry um i was informed to tell you we had been doing stuff that year i hadn't done anything that i hadn't done anything um we remodeled the whole back of the house uh that took up most of the summer um, we, we started, uh, I'd mentioned at one point we have a, and I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Uh, yeah, right where that red, it's not showing up real well. This little red section right above my printers, right there, a little red section. It used to just be like a corner wall, because it goes down the hall there. I should have light on back there. It goes down a corner, it goes down a hall there well it used to just be a mirror hanging on that on that wall right there and uh ever since I'm, we moved here i kept saying i wanted the doorway there because that was a spare bedroom and then down into that hallway by our bedroom was the door went into that into that spare bedroom and she's been saying ever since we moved here she wanted an archway an archway doorway somewhere and i said well that would be a perfect spot put my door that I wanted but make it an archway so when the pandemic hit she was off work for I don't know three months maybe and uh, so I said well that's just you know hundred dollars we'll put you know we'll cut a hole in the wall you know we'll make an archway I have a video of her actually knocking the hole in the wall but she would probably skin me alive if I put that in here I'm I'm really contemplating adding that like right now okay I paused if it didn't show up I chickened out if it showed up I manned up so but anyway so we knocked the hole in the wall um we done that and then that led to another thing which led to another thing which led to another thing which led to another thing well four to five thousand dollars later not forty five four to five thousand dollars later we had the whole back of the house remodeled we moved the wall we closed up two doors we refloored yeah it was it was a mess so um anyhow that's what I was up to. Wasn't depressed. Um, I was supposed to tell you that. I was horrified to tell you that. I was going to put the video in. So, uh, I kind of like my skin. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Like, it's really cute though. Her with a hammer just going at that wall. It's very tempting. So, uh, anyway, back to modeling. That's what I said. So, let me get you down here. Uh, the truck, um, I said I was going to go ahead and put in primer, which I did. Uh, you can see here, it's all primed up. Oh, get you adjusted. Sorry, making you sick. So, I got all of them primer. I can get you the wrong direction, don't I? Make you even sicker. <laughs> Maybe that's the wrong direction. Shit, I don't know, people. I'm sorry. I think it's right. All right. So yeah, we got it all primed up. Um, 
the, the cab, the floor pan, floor pan, which would be painted the same color. I always like, most people just black out the whole bottom of the car, but to me, if the car's been redone, which most of them at the, this era has been restored by now, and when they restore a car, they always um, paint the other side of the car. Now they used to match the color of the car, so I usually do that. So like the bottom of the bed will be the same color, you know, like the green of the main color of the, of the truck. So it's all been primed. So what I'm doing now is I started making a video last end of last week, but I was watching a, a TV well movie on the computer and i paused it when i got around to making the video and it was making for some reason the computer wasn't keeping up with i guess having the the uh movie paused and recording uh, something was going on so it was really glitching and glitching my my uh, video so you can see i've already started sanding a little bit here maybe and you know how i prime i put it on so thin and uh, here's my bottle of primer, which, you know, I mix up myself out of a, this is not the primer, so I'll show you over here. Um, I buy it in a quart. So this is only about this much primer, and the rest was just lacquer thinner. Um, but this bottle was clear up to the lid when I started, and now I'm down to, I'm down to there in the bottle. That's how much primer I put on these pieces, which was basically just all lacquer thinner. It was just it's water. It's they say consisting of milk. That's like half milk, half water. Um, so it's super, super thin, but yet yeah, super smooth. Uh, it's basically just enough to turn the color. But really, all I want to do is etch the plastic, etch into the plastic. That way when my paint goes on, because the paint's really not going to etch into the plastic, it's not going to hold. And that way when I tape over, put any tape or anything on, it will it will actually not lift off. Sorry, my laundry's done. Um, it will not lift off uh, the tape, or the paint, because the paint will adhere to the primer, and the primer is already adhered to the plastic. So if I don't put the primer on, the paint won't really adhere to the to the plastic and you'll know, lift off the, the paint so that's why I'm saying all that so now I'm going over with my two favorite sandpapers I have uh, these are Trizac which has like a, a foam like a foam in it and this you can get at Walmart in the automotive section this one's 3000 grit it comes with just one sheet and it's fairly expensive uh, this one you cannot get at Walmart. This is 5,000 Trizac. You have to get it on, on Amazon, eBay. And uh, this is the one. This one's, you know, it feels like there's nothing there. I mean, it feels like there's absolutely nothing there. It's pretty aggressive. So I'm using the 5,000 on on this. And it takes very little to, to take it off. So I have my... Uh, last week's warm water, which is now cold, uh, with a little bit of dishwashing soap in it, just a little bit. And if I swish around here, we might get some actual, there they come, some soap bubbles. There you see my soap bubbles. So there's a little bit of soap in there. And I'm just going to lightly, very little pressure. Um, I'll push in the light over here on. Hey, look at that. Very little uh, pressure. And I just sand for just a few minutes, or a few seconds, I should say. You can kind of feel if there's any little rust spots. And I have one back here somewhere. And then I'll take a... <clears throat> A uh, gross for nine minutes already. Paper towel, and I'll go over where I just done. Make sure it's nice and smooth, and see no no imperfections. 
and then uh, I'll keep going There's a little bit of imperfection there now just keep moving on to all the pieces and go around the whole the whole vehicle that way and uh, then we'll soon be done and ready for paint so I'm gonna stop here for 10 minutes and uh, I'll finish up all this sanding and then I'll come back when I'm ready for paint and I'll show you the painting process so thanks for watching guys and we'll be back uh, as soon as we can so bye bye for now